Hey guys, welcome to iGeek Store and in this video I will be teaching you how to get the BBM or the Blackberry Messenger on your Windows, Mac or Linux computer. So let's get started. So the first step to do this is to go onto your web browser, in my case it's Google Chrome and once you're over there you have to go on to jennymotion.com now here you can see I've been uh, got to the website and what basically Jenny Motion is that it is the fastest Android emulator for app testing and presentation on your computer now to download Jenny Motion you have to first sign up just click on the sign up button over here and first then you have to sign up now since I'm already signed up with this website I won't be signing up again and once you do that you will be able to download Jenny Motion now uh, once you download it you would be getting a setup file now after installing the setup, you will be getting Jenny Motion, but along with it, you will even be getting the setup of VirtualBox and you have to install that. Now sometimes the VirtualBox Jenny Motion has provided doesn't work. So I will be providing one more link in the description of uh, with the VirtualBox which will surely work with Jenny Motion. Now you just uh, open Jenny Motion, run it as administrator and click on yes. And after that you will see it's loading. Now this is taking a lot of time, it doesn't usually take this much of time, but still let's wait. Now here you can see that it uh, now it's loaded. Now after that what you have to do is you have to click on add to add a virtual device and it will ask for the username and password you had made on the website. That was jennymotion.com and just enter your details. And just click on enter now here you can see that you would get logged in and it will give you two boxes one which says already downloaded virtual devices and one which will say virtual device available from the Jenny motion cloud now the Jenny motion cloud is basically the place where all the people upload their custom API's and you would get a ton you get tons of API's over here now while downloading any AP, API make sure that it isn't uh, an API for a tablet it must be for a phone and the version must be above 4.1 and it should have google apps so it will sound something like this like google nexus 4.1.1 with google apps and it's 4.1.1 and it's a phone and it has google apps so it's perfect now the best one according to me which has all these things uh, is the galaxy s4 slash htc1 slash xperia z dash 4.2.2 with google apps and its resolution is also very nice so I have added this one you can add any one with the three things that I to told you and just to add it just click on any one of them like I would be clicking on any random one and just click on add and after that just click on next and it will start downloading the file now since I already have it downloaded I won't be downloading it and just click on cancel and once you have it downloaded you would even get one like this like I have one and just cancel it now under the your virtual devices tab you would get the api you had downloaded and you have just have to click on play to run it now now it will start the virtual device now this does take some time so please be patient now here you can see that you get the android loading screen which you get whenever you switch on your android device usually it's a company logo but still this is because this is stock android you will get this now uh, i've got to the now i got to the main lock screen you get once you have set up your device now once you do this time you would get the same startup screen you get when you are starting up your new android device now since i've already done all that i've got uh, to the main screen and once that's only a one time thing and once you've done it you will always be redirected to the screen only not that screen and just unlock it like any normal android device so just hold on the cursor and just unlock it now you can see that you've got a uh, jelly bean and uh, click on the circle over here and go on to play store now once you go to play store you have to go onto the search bar over here and search for bbm now you would get this app by blackberry limited and just go and install it now since i already have it installed i won't be installing it again and just click on open 
and now I already logged in but for if you're doing this for the first time and you don't have a blackberry id so once you log in you would be uh, get got onto the screen now since i already have this activated on another device so i would be clicking on switch review to get all my contacts and all the information over here click on switch review again now it will say setting up bbm now you would get the name option and your pin now guys if you encounter the waiting list error i will be providing a link in the description by which you can learn how to tackle the waiting list and you can just skip it now just click on continue skip continue to be click on continue to bbm and here you can see uh, you've got the original bbm you got on the ios and android devices now this works very smoothly got all the updates over here now i would just be writing anything to devanch who is my partner in this channel like hey what's up and you can see that the message has gone now this is how this works guys uh thanks for watching this video and once you're done that you just have to cancel that you can it's very easy to open it you just have to click on Jenny motion and you just have to open it it uh, it's very fast now guys thanks for watching this video and please subscribe for more such tech tutorials